Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. 
I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Ho, and you spit it out. Where's Isleheart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Scrum before I lose my patience. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This Witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! No, Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler? Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, you bastard. No. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Yeah, I've ploughed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutation strip witches of feelings. No, no more. 
Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went, wee, wee, wee. Ow! Bitch bit me. Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa. But I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one hand, working for criminals on the other. I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore. More or less. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do. But not at any price. All right. So free Dandelion. <laughs> First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I add you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms either. I could simply force you to tell me what you know about Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! She's worth it!
I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. He did, until I asked about the treasure. Geralt, we talked this over. You agreed. Uh, fine, never mind. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Well?